Hello and welcome to today's episode. Today we'll have the opportunity to transit the Suez Canal. But beforehand, we need to proceed to the Suez anchorage and drop anchor in order to get our numbering, in order to proceed to the transit tomorrow morning. So we're underway now in order to go and anchor at the Suez South anchorage. In order to proceed to the anchorage, the VTS will assign you an anchorage position with a numbering that already exists on the chart and you will have to proceed there in order to drop your anchor. At this instance, at this time, we chose to drop the port side anchor. While proceeding at anchorage, we are lowering our anchor at one meter above the water. So now we're going to approach at the anchorage position and when we stop the vessel, then we'll drop the anchor. On the following morning, anchor was heated up and the pilot came on board in order to perform the sea trials that the vessel will need to perform in order to be permitted to enter the Suez Canal. The vessel was calling for her first time the Suez. All tests went out well and eventually the vessel entered the Suez Canal. So we're now going to transit here in Suez Canal, we're going to transit the Peace Bridge. This was constructed back in 2005 between Japan and Egypt. It, it signs the importance of peace which is required to be kept in the region and stability. And it's a very nice construction that you can pass under it. It connects the uh, main side of Egypt with the Sina side on the uh, right hand side. And uh, yeah, that's all. They don't actually want people to uh, pass by for other reasons there's no traffic at all but it's a very nice construction to pass under it the height of the sea water level to the bridge is 66 meters so we have about 20 meters of clearance to pass under it and uh, yeah we're going now to pass under it let's have a look
how tall it is. You can see up there, there's the Egyptian flag faded out and the Japanese flag, which has also faded out. And it states, uh, Japan, Egypt, Friendship, Bridge. Mumbarat at Bridge. The total time required to transit the Suez Canal is between 12 to 14 hours. It depends on the traffic and of course on the weather conditions. On a daily basis about 50 vessels transit northbound the canal and about 50 vessels transit southbound the canal. It is in vital importance for the uh, uh, shipping industry to have such a canal since goods are transferred worldwide in less time due to the fact that the canal assists into avoiding passages from the northern route or from uh, South Africa where the weather conditions can be very very bad during winter season. So. I'm leaving you now with a nice image of the sunset which was captured during our passage. While navigating inside the uh, canal, I, the master or the chief officer who is my reliever, together with the bridge team, have to be, pay very big attention to the orders which are given to the helmsman and of course to the bridge team. Of course we need to assess them and see if they are the correct ones. Special attention is to be given to the helmsman. We don't want any incorrect uh, ship's handling. So. At this point, as per the ECDIS, this is the point where the uh, pilots disembark and now the captain and his team will need to navigate her vessel for about 10 miles on this canal outwards in order to enter inside the Mediterranean Sea. You have to pay attention that your speed is uh, correct speed, safe speed and of course you need to pay attention that no any passage of any fishing vessels are causing to you any concerns and yes you must keep clear of those red and green buoys which are there in order to uh, guide you through but remember don't go too close to them so for this instance the uh, 
wind was strong and was coming from the port side and the vessel was drifting to the starboard side so the uh, course over ground was maintained a little bit additionally more to put in order to make a better uh, course heading so I hope you like today's episode please don't forget to subscribe to the channel Nick the Sailorman and of course don't forget to leave your valuable and positive comments below till next time I wish you a pleasant and peaceful weekend take care goodbye